Good morning. Today we are going to be doing um, some watercolor techniques, just creating papers for your uh, journals and altered book, um, altered books as well. So this today is bleeding tissue paper. It's different than regular tissue paper. It has, um, well, I'm going to show you. Let's take a look. So you're just going to take a piece of paper, you're going to take a water bottle, spray it, and you're just going to take the art tissue and put it all over on the wet paper. You want to make sure that it's shiny wet. You see the, the color. You can um, the you can overlap it. You can mix the colors. You can create a collage with it. If I'm doing all green sky sunset, you can tear it to give a little bit of a cool edge. Um, and like I said, you can overlap it. So I'm just going to put those down. If they're not sticking, don't worry about it. You could always spray it again. Bleeding tissue is one of my favorite backgrounds to do just as a quick little um, cover, and then you can layer lots of different mediums on top of it. You can do stamping, writing, painting, more watercolor, Sharpie, all sorts of things. So then you can just take your sprayer and spray all over, see where else you might need some once they all flatten out. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. I'm just gonna put some green here. Looks like a lot of green's happening today. Green's my favorite color, it seems so. And it is, so I'm gonna get a little black going. I like using black because it really makes all the other colors pop out. A lot of people think it's kind of somber, and but it really does wonders to different colors around it, so. All right, I'm gonna wet it one more time. It's nice to have a big piece of paper around you um, that at this point you're going to press down. So make sure you have a, um, another piece of paper, whether it's a paper towel or just a paper, you're going to press it down, making sure that the um, tissue that we just sprayed was really well saturated. I'm pressing this down because now I can have two pieces that have color saturated through. So I'll have two pieces for my for my journal. This one can just keep being used though. You can fill it up more. So it's really awesome. Once you take the tissue off, the little cracks and, oh my gosh, the little tears, whatever it is. This one is gonna be really great though because it has the most color. I love using these papers too for collage. So if as I lift off these papers, I can see, oh my gosh, I might use that for a turtle shell or I might use this for a cloud. Um, so a lot of things happen when you remove the paper. If you want to, you can do a whole nother layer of um, these pieces of tissue. And I never throw these out. I let these air dry because then you can use them for collage. They can be part of flowers or like I said, um, sky. You could even go back into this one, this dries and use your tissues to build it up with a little bit more layer. So this is an awesome way with the um, art tissue, the bleeding tissue paper. Good morning, my name is Sherry. We're gonna be doing a watercolor technique using saran wrap and salt, another um, great way to cover your papers. Um, I have watercolor paper, but you can use any um, kind of paper that's a little bit thicker. And I know the kids just cleaned out their lockers at school, so they actually might have a watercolor pan that came home with them. If not, these are sold at um, the grocery stores, Meyer has them. Um, you could get the praying watercolor set. Um, I know Michaels is doing curbside and Joanne, so I'm sure you can get them. But like I said before, in the other watercolor, you can also use uh, food coloring. Just um, give it a little bit of water so it's not so concentrated. So what I'm gonna do now is I actually wet my watercolors. I'm going to just get my color and I might wet my paper because I want it to be pretty wet for this. So every time I go into a color, I wanna make sure that I'm cleaning my brush so my pan doesn't get too messed up. And you can see how saturated the paper is. It is almost glistening, right, with how wet it is. I'm just gonna make a quick rainbow. I'm gonna mix some colors here. I love this, um, the water, how it's just bleeding into another with that purple and the, the red and the blue. Oh my gosh wants to be next to each other, that's awesome. I can take it if it is a lot of color. I can even do this with it and kind of have the colors go down and create a little bit of that. I'm gonna use Saran Wrap on this. 
um, to show you kind of a nice technique. Um, it kind of creates like faux fur a little bit. It looks like a giraffe's fur. Um, that's just kind of fun. And I always want to usually with this, I want to cover my all of my white. I'm always about that. For the people that know me in class, it's always about covering the white with my cherry. Okay. So some people at this point will say, can I just spray water and then do it? You really want to get the concentration of the color with the water, a good mixture of that. Um, and it really works nice with some dark color. So I'm going to put a little bit more blue in it. And I love this purple. So we'll end with a little bit of purple kind of everywhere. Okay, and you can go to your kitchen, saran wrap. I want to make sure that it's not drying on me. Of course, by the time I get the saran wrap, <laughs> there we go. And this is a nice one because it's got a little cutter. I'm going to make sure that it stays pretty flat. And then I'm going to put it right to apply it right to the paper. As you can see, all of these little pockets are wonderful because that's where it's actually going to dry. These right here will be the darker, and that's where it will start to look like um, giraffe. I always say giraffe, or maybe clouds, not your stratus clouds. Um, this is kind of fun. You're just using your pads of your fingers to move it around, and look at all the little lines I'm creating. Kind of a fun thing. I'm going to let this dry for about 10 minutes. Um, if I put it outside, I can put a rock on it so it doesn't blow away. Um, I can even take a hair dryer, do a little bit underneath or a little bit on top, but don't get your hair dryer too close to the plastic. Um, you want to just kind of, um, kind of freeze it and where the, the lines are. So I'm going to show you a couple examples of um, what you can do with this afterwards. Here's one that I did that is the dark colors. And then I actually took a black Sharpie and just kind of went around um, some of these little areas where the saran wrap would have been and kind of brought those out. But you can still see the little lines that the saran wrap left. So this was a journal page. I'm not done with it yet. You can add white jelly pen to it. You can add black micron pen or Sharpies um, to it and start doodling and pulling out what you might see when, these, um, when the saran wrap is lifted. Okay. I'm going to give this a minute before we pull it off. Um, this was another example of, um, the, actually this is the bleeding tissue paper. This was someone else's art. You can always layer on top of it. I did some stamping and just keep building. So these are just some fun examples with the watercolor. This one is just watercolor taking the black um, and kind of this is a little bit of the saran wrap here. This is a little bit of the salt and I'll show you what the salt is um, like. So I'm gonna just pull up a little area. The salt is actually, you could do sea salt or kosher coarse salt. Um, it's kind of nice because you just need a little bit. And what it does is it takes all the color up. So I'm just gonna do this. This is a nice way of creating a sky um, with stars, or if you want to do centers of flowers, anything like that. It's just gonna give you a lot of good texture. When this dries, you'll just rub it off and wherever the salt was will um, be like a starburst. It will be white. It will absorb all the color. So that's kind of a nice way to get your texture. All right, so I'm going to um, take off the uh, saran wrap. This is definitely a drum roll. So I usually do this with the kids. Um, we want to make sure that it is dried here where I put the salt. You can see that it just kind of like scattered the color, absorbed the color, really awesome texture. Um, and you can be really precise where you want that to happen, whether it's just in a, you know, a tip of a flower giving you texture or like I said, um, a sky or you be the judge. But this is um, kind of a fun thing. What happens with the saran wrap? Look at that. Oh my gosh, there's a firework. Ooh, ah, a lot of fun things. This is actually one that we did, um, made it into a note card um, here for Living Well. So that was kind of a fun thing. So you can make them into note cards. You can cut this up and just glue them onto a note card um, and send a little sunshine to someone. So thanks so much. I am going to show you um, one more little project. Um, that the kids could do. And like I said, they cleaned out their closet, their um, lockers at school. So they probably have lots of markers and you might even have markers from last year too. I know I have a huge stack for my son's um, little, for all the years from elementary, right? 
So um, I just drew with marker. It's water soluble marker. You can make designs, you could make just lines, you could do um, words, anything you want. This is a really great way to also make a journal page. Um, say if I was on a, a sad day, maybe I would make a heart and then you're gonna take water and it's just gonna be um, maybe a, a bleeding heart. But in doing so, you're also healing at the same time. So I'm gonna take a, I've colored it all that I wanna color. I'm gonna just take a um, spray bottle and here's my bleeding heart. I can do it right over the bowl. And if I wanna get all of it, if I don't wanna lose the shape of my heart, I can, but really awesome. Um, the, if you want it to be reflective of your emotions, you can have this be um, crying, you could be um, a rainbow after rain, it could be anything um, that you want it to be. I love how it's bleeding and the changing of the colors. Um, this is like the river running through it. Um, so, so much you might not even know what the project is until afterwards, but look at how it's breaking in half. It's almost creating um, craters. I can lay this down and let it dry just like that. Um, which I kind of like, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna let that dry. I could also have taken a piece of paper or a paper towel. Paper towels are great because you could also use this for collage after, just keep going. Any of the um, products that you use, whether it's a baby wipe, you could always use those in other things. So I'm gonna let this one be because I really like that. And sometimes you don't like what you like what you do. You just have to just put it aside and maybe look at it another time. Um, and you might pull it and do something else with it. Here's one that I just did with lines. Um, same thing, you're just gonna spray it. It's awesome, you never know. I can drive those around, maybe I wanna flip them this way. I can do it this way, kinda looks like the ocean on things. If I don't like all of it, I could use some of it in a project, but really fun. Who knew you could have so much fun with markers? I could do this actually all day. Put your kids outside if you need a little break, give them a bucket, um, and they can just have fun. These hardware's open, you can get your water bottles, and uh, cheap, easy fun. There you go. So I'm gonna let this one go too. This is a great one. If I let this dry, I could actually use these lines to write and journal on. So I'm always creating pages to use for other things. Um, I have stacks and stacks. I love collage, so um, it's fun to go through. Look at, I just made a little coral um, with that one, and I'm just gonna let this um, drip dry. If you have a clothesline outside, you could throw them on the clothesline and just let them do their thing. And you can have your own art show for your neighborhood. All right, have fun, you guys. Take care. Um, these are some more things that you can do with the watercolor background. So this is just, um, I think it's like wax paper, maybe a little bit of um, saran wrap too, um, letting that dry and then actually just going outside and drawing the garden. Um, and then I did a little journaling inside. This is called Breathe. Um, we all need to do a little bit of that. This one here is watercolor. I added a little bit of metallics to it. You can see the silver. After that dried, I went outside, painted a leaf, um, pressed a leaf down, put a little paper towel, and then lifted it up. So really great backgrounds with um, really fun things that you can do on top of it. So this is another one with watercolor and then just um, painting with black and creating leaves and and you know so much of this what we do isn't about the um, project product it's about the process so just getting lost um, experimenting exploring and really having fun with what you're doing and trusting yourself to let yourself um, be bold and express yourself